There are 77 reported outbreaks in nursing homes and rehab centers across the state of the coronavirus, and now health officials are encouraging families to actually try to bring their loved ones home. They say it's one way to help stop the spread of the virus, but as our Tracy Sears found out, it's not an option for many people in our area. She's of the greatest generation, and this is not how her last year should be playing out. Ann Maliff is finding peace, knowing her mother is now recovering nearly three weeks after being diagnosed with COVID-19. One of the things they said to me was, we all wish all the patients were doing as well as your mom. But knowing she's spending her days alone inside the Beth Shalom Rehabilitation Center is still very difficult. We don't know how much longer it is, but you know, she's 90. Pauline Mitchell isn't letting the isolation get her down although she never imagined living through something like this. Never in a million years. <laughs> the former television producer and public relations director is instead focusing on the positive, despite several broken ribs from a fall more than a year ago that left her in mobile. The staff has been wonderful and cooperative and helpful. A few weeks ago, Mitchell had the added comfort of seeing her family outside her closed window. And we would talk and see each other and visit for a while. It was a really nice, nice feeling. But it's frustrating too, right there. And you can't hold her hand, you can't give her a hug. Now isolated in their own homes, the Mela family is doing all they can to support their mother. In most situations when your loved one is in a life-threatening situation, you can be there. You can be by the, their side and help make medical decisions for them. While Maliff says she'd love the chance to bring her mother home, both mother and daughter know it's just not possible. Example, I've got a son with special needs. I, I, can't, I can't risk getting sick and I can't risk his getting sick. It would be <clears throat> impossible for my daughter Anne to take care of me that way. But Mitchell still sees a silver lining. You cannot go through life feeling sorry for yourself. So now she's focusing on the love of family. She's one of the most positive people I know. And the faith that gives her hope. I'm sorry that there have been so many deaths. Of course I'm sorry for that. And we're all going to die sometime. But um, don't be afraid of dying. Live life every day the best you can. That's the best you can do. In Henrico County, Tracy Sears, CBS 6 News.